Houston. Let's bring in Republican Congressman Will Hurd. He sits on the House Oversight and Government Reform Committee, House Intel Committee, and House Homeland Security Committee. Good afternoon to you. Good afternoon. Thanks for having me on. Thank you. What about or what can you tell us about these claims? Well, I don't know what he's he's referring to. I'm, I'm sure he's frustrated um, with um, the back and forth and the, and the politicalization of the investigation into Russian attempts to to manipulate um, our elect our elections. And it's a serious charge. I, I spent nine and a half years as an undercover officer in the CIA. Um, I chased Russians all over the world, mm -hmm. and their attempt to try to uh, influence our, our 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 elections is something that should be reviewed, and it should be reviewed in a bipartisan and, and thorough manner. Do you think it's plausible that the FISA court approved a warrant? Uh, well, if there was, and I'm not saying I, I don't have any ind indication to suggest um, one way or the other, um, in order to have a, a, a tell tap on um, a building, you would have to have a, a FISA warrant. And that means a judge would have to uh, agree and issue a, a FISA warrant, uh, which, which states that the judge had probable cause um, and, and believe that uh, federal law enforcement um, had a reason to gather additional information. And usually one of these types of, of, of um, FISA warrants would be on a particular individual, um, not necessarily just any kind of communications in the building. What is the bar to, to, you know, for a FISA warrant? I mean, is it pretty high, pretty low? I mean, for most of us, you're certainly more plugged in than we are. You know, that's one question. And two, is there any threat of truth to this? I mean, did you seriously, you didn't know well, anything about any of this? Uh, well, well, I will say the bar for a FISA warrant is very high. Um, you know, the federal law enforcement takes um, this seriously. I know the FISA judge, judges take this very seriously. Um, when I was in the CIA, um, had to deal with this um, issue of uh, Americans talking with um, with uh, known terrorist organizations. Um, it's not a, a forma or easy process to go through. And you have to demonstrate um, a real probable cause. Um, so, so I trust that uh, federal law enforcement and our judiciary are doing their job and, and looking at all the evidence. Um, but again, um, I, I think one of the important things that, that all my friends on both sides of the political divide need to realize is that um, there are things that are going on that we shouldn't be talking about. Um, I know uh, folks are frustrated and we, we want to get information um, every second of the day, um, but if there are investigations, those th types of things are going to take time. And then that's where the House and the Senate uh, come in in a bipartisan fashion to review and to make sure um, that our federal law enforcement um, did the job the right way. Speaking of frustrated, are you frustrated with the tweets? I mean, did you wake up to this news like the rest of us and you're extremely plugged in? Um, you know, it, look, this is, it, it's the president's prerogative. You think uh, it's okay? To, to do that. Um, you know, this is, that, that's, that's his decision. Um, on, on, I, I think uh, both sides should, uh, should, should stop talking about something that may or may not have happened. I wish but you realize we were, we're talking we about were, it because he tweeted about it before 7 o'clock in the morning. That's right, the only reason we're talking about it is because he tweeted about it. Right, and uh, you, you have to bring that question up with, with the president and his team about his habits um, on, on social media. Let me ask you this. Yesterday, two of your fellow Republicans in the House joined an effort led by Democrats to request copies of President Trump's tax records, uh, the idea being it could help perhaps put concerns about conflicts of interest to rest. Mm. Why aren't more Republicans behind this? Uh, well, I think many Republicans have spoken out and said, you know, it's it's it make life a lot easier. Why not just share uh, the tax information? Um, the president has done a, a financial disclosure form. Um, I haven't heard if there's any indications in that um, where people um, have suspicions. You know, this is not a it's not a federal requirement to do that. Um, the American people uh, knew that that information wasn't provided before they made the decision um, back in November. Um, but I do think that um, providing those tax returns uh, would be would would be a good move. Let me get your take on this uh, on Reuters out with the news story this morning. Look at the looking at the potential ramifications of a new Department of Homeland Security border security proposal. Essentially, the article details how children could be separated from their parents, saying, quote, part of the reason for the proposal is to deter mothers from migrating to the United States with their children. Do you agree with this approach? 
Well, uh, again, uh, just because it's a Reuters report doesn't mean it's going to happen. Um, there have been all kinds of, of allegations and um, suspicions on what may or may not happen um, until another executive order comes out or until um, the, the Secretary of, of Homeland Security uh, puts out more guidance. Uh, the guidance right now that ICE is, um, is operating under is that if people are here illegally and they have committed criminal uh, offenses um, those are the folks that that are being are being focused on and that's really not too much of, of a, a deviation um, from um, President Obama under his term um, there was over 400,000 people deported under President Obama um, that had this uh, a serious criminal criminal history and so I, I think it's it's real easy um, in this environment to to get excited about one thing or the other but until you have a, a piece of legislation or an executive order, um, it's, it's hard to comment. I mean, um, I know it's those. a proposal, but a lot of people wonder when you hear proposals like this, is it testing the waters a little bit to see how people react, to see if, there, if it would be explosive, frankly? I mean, do you think something like this is even plausible? Well, um, knowing how uh, presidential campaigns work and some of the transitions work, a lot of people have opinions, um, but those opinions are not reflective of the people that are actually making decisions. And um, so, so I, um, uh, Secretary Kelly, was recently at the Homeland Security Committee. Uh, many of these topics came up, um, and he addressed them. Uh, Secretary Kelly is someone who I think understands uh, what needs to be done in order to secure our border and, and enforce our laws. Um, and living in, in, I live in South Texas and represent South and West Texas. 29 counties from San Antonio to El Paso, 820 miles of the border. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the things that I always remind folks is that um, we have benefited from the brain drain of, of every um, country for the last couple of decades. Let's continue that. And let's benefit from the hardworking drain, too. If you're going to be a productive member of our society, uh, let's get you here a, as quickly as possible. But let's do it legally. Um, and so, so uh, again, this is an issue that uh, we should be debated in a, in a, in a bipartisan, non partisan way, uh, to be frank, to make sure that we're strengthening um, our society and our country. I have to leave it there. We squeezed in a lot of topics on this Saturday. Congressman Wilhart, thank